All right, let's go with uh, the thank yous. And I've uh, come up with a list. I want to thank everybody here, especially the employees who put up with me through this transition. Um, Matt Smith, uh, station manager. He, he, yeah. Let me tell you what Matt's done that, uh, that is just so awesome. Uh, he was down here at 7 o'clock this morning to let the engineer come in to do some increase to the power. But Matt, I can always call him. At, I, I can call him at 3 o'clock in the morning. And, and he might be a little like, huh, huh? But, 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 but he's there. Matt Smith is always there when I need him. So let's give Matt Smith a hand. And Matt, if you want to come up and say a, say a few words. <laughs> well, I am glad to see this finally happen. You know, I've passed by this tower many times and looked out here and said, now that would be a good place for Star 39 to be. Well, this was before I, I knew that we would make the jump to 47. So, you know, it's good to have, have the station here. It's good to have good friends here. And, you know, I consider all of you good friends. You know, you know you've, you've put up with some of the some of the craziness that goes on at Star News and I think we've all been better for what we've for what we've been through because you know this I would say that running a TV station like WGSR is not rocket science but it's pretty close I mean I mean we learn we learn new things we try to do new things some of them work some of them don't, but you know, it, through the whole thing, I think we get better, and that's the whole point of this, is to better serve the people, and that's what we do here at Star News. That's it. All right, we got Jimmy DePalma we're going to thank next, and if you look at the lo beautiful logo at the bottom of the podium, um, Jimmy creates all the beautiful graphic looks um, that we ha have on our station. We... For a station of our size to have the kind of exciting graphics that he creates for us is, is just incredible. And Jimmy, come on up here. I know you, you're a little shy. Sometimes. Well, as you know, I'm not a on-camera person. So I'm gonna limit this to thank you all my co-workers all the sales, other production people, the ownership, the management, everybody. Thank you for making my job a lot easier and occasionally a little bit more difficult. <laughs> I, I couldn't do what I do without all of you. Next, we have Ms. Rockingham County, Debbie Moore. <laughs> And uh, host of Stardate, but uh, also our, our salesperson uh, in Rockingham County, and she's done a great job. She's uh, really uh, been, been a great help getting us known. When you say, when Mike Dockerty says, hey, the, the Pottery Festival, it was Debbie to put all that together to make it work. So it's the people that makes this work. It's, you know, the, the electronics is important, but it's the people that puts it together to make it happen. Come on up, Debbie. Well, I didn't know I was going to be asked to speak either, but I do. I want to say thank you to all my coworkers. We are a family, and we all work together. And by working together, we pull off one of the coolest stations around. We are now Star 47.1. And I've got to say this. I was proud. I was the first digital transmitted live program this morning. So, Mark, I got you. Uh. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. All right, uh, from, from the regional uh, office, we have Bobby and Blaine. They, they do a great job of keeping us on the air, and Blaine shows a lot of promise possibly on the air, so we're going to be, be getting into that tonight with, with Blaine. Let's go to the Martinsville crew. Now, Casey. Casey is my right-hand arm and makes all this happen. I want to thank Casey. Casey's not here. She's actually keeping the fort going in Martinsville right now. So, hi, Casey. I want to thank you so much for what you do. How about you, Jessica? You want to come up here? Jess Jessica? She, she, she is, Jessica is the, the boogie jiver. That's what we call her. Oh. 
she, she can, she can, we can hand Jessica a mic at any time, and she can make it make sense. She is, the, she is the queen of that. Come on. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, the queen of booger jive. Um, we uh, have a sales team in, in each of our areas, and uh, Charles already introduced Deborah Buchanan from Martinsville and Henry County, and she has just kept that, that community of sales there uh, and done, just done a great job. And so I'm just going to clap for uh, Deborah Buchanan because she just does a great job with that. And as he said, uh, Debbie works in North Carolina. I work in the Danville, Pennsylvania County community, uh, and I think we've been a considered purchase there. They've, they've, they've uh, taken to us, and uh, I think now that in Danville and Pennsylvania County, they really are beginning to get what Star News can, can do for that community. And I just want to say that uh, it's been a, a privilege. I've been with the station for many years now, and it's been a privilege to work with everyone. It's been exciting to meet new people as we grow. And uh, I think that this group here proves that it's, you know, Star News is just bigger than any one person and that as a, a, a corporation and as a, a television station, we've just grown, and it's really exciting to see all the things that we've been able to do uh, and work together as a team to, to accomplish. And so it's just a, a proud day today, and, and I just am really glad to be working for the station. Next, we've got Mary Martin. She does human resources for us, and she does a great job. She's, she's as we've been able, as we've been expanding, uh, she's really helped me a lot and being able to deal with some of the employee issues and when employees have problems and so forth. So Mary Martin, let's give Mary Martin a hand. How about Brian? Brian. He is the king of automation. Brian mastered automation better than anybody in, in the operation. He, uh, he really knows it well. And Brian, come on up here. Well, like many things that go on in the company, uh, you know, I didn't realize I was going to get to speak today. But, you know, one thing I take pride in is, you know, we've we work together so well as a team. You know, there are many times in which we, you know, just have to pull things together and we just do such a good job. And I enjoy working with everyone here. You know, you're all great friends and great coworkers. And, uh, you know, here's to, we've been in business, what, 20 years now? Here's to another 20 and to the future. So thank you very much. He's pretty good at, at uh, putting up with me when I get loud, too. Right, Brian? That's right. Uh, next is Jamie Foley. Jamie Foley is another one of those, just like Casey, who's keeping us on the air in Martinsville. I want to thank Jamie. He's one of our newest uh, anchors uh, that has come on the team. Does a great job with that crime report uh, in Martinsville. Jamie, uh, we thank you so much for, for your service so far. We've got Brandon Horton, uh, who uh, is working on our digital future as well. We've had some more digital announcements that we're going to be making this year. Brandon Horton will be a great part of that. And then we have Azal. I, I know I can't make her come up and speak because she is the CEO of the company. So we'll just say thank you, Azal. <laughs> she writes the checks. Where is, where is Jessica G? She's on her way. On her way, on her way, okay. This is, we love, this is what we love about Jessica. She is the she, she creates some drama for our, for us every day. We love her. 